Good afternoon, Miss Estella. Good afternoon, so ma'am. Okay, Miss Estella, can you tell me about yourself? Yes, ma'am. I'm Estella Madroño. I'm 37 years old, ma'am, and the name of my husband is Romando Madroño, and I have and I have one son, ma'am. Okay, I have a few questions for you to answer, so let's start. Why do you want to work as a maid? I want to work as a maid because I want to help my family and I want to secure the future of my son, ma'am. There are kind, ma'am. How are you qualified for this job? I'm qualified for this job because I'm working in this plan, ma'am. Yeah, I know what your education level is. I'm secondary. I'm graduated in secondary level. What is your recent working experience? I'm a weaver and also throat benders, ma'am. Have you worked abroad before? No, ma'am. Do you have experience of taking care of baby? Yes, ma'am. My only son, ma'am. What elder or older people do you have experience taking care of them? No, ma'am. But are you willing to take care? Yes, ma'am. I'm willing. Do you have any other special skills? Yes, ma'am. You know what special skills do you have? I'm uh, cooking and cleaning the house, ma'am. Are you willing to learn new skills? Yes, ma'am. Are you willing to work with a family where the mother-in-law or any relatives stay together? Yes, ma'am. Apparently, we used to speak. Mrs. Stella, are you still working now? Yes, ma'am. May I know what is your work, Miss Estella? Uh, I'm a weaver and also fruit vendors, ma'am. Do you know how to cook? Yes, ma'am. What sort of food can you cook? Filipino food, ma'am. Like, like chicken curry, adobo, and sinigang, ma'am. Are you aware that you will have to do washing, cleaning, earning, and cooking? Yes, ma'am. From all the house chores or household work, such as washing, cleaning, earning, and cooking, which do you like most? Um, work. I'm working all the house, ma'am. Okay, so all around household. Yes, ma'am. All around, ma'am. If ever you were selected to work in Malaysia, who will take care of your kids? My husband, ma'am. You are not allowed to use handphone during working hours. Yes, ma'am. You are you are only allowed to use handphone after you finish all the work that you're going to bed. Yes, ma'am. You are strictly needed to surrender the handphone to your employer in the morning and your employer will return back to you once you're going to bed. Yes, ma'am. If ever your employer finds out that you're abusing handphone and it's affected your work performance, your employer will confiscate your handphone and you're not allowed to hold it anymore. Instead your employer will instead your employer will allow you to call to your family three times in a month. You only allow to bring normal phone and you're not allowed to bring your phone. Are you agreed for the terms and condition? Yes, ma'am. Are you agreed to the rules and regulation for the handphone? Yes, ma'am. How many years is the contract as you agreed and understand? Two years contract, ma'am. Can you describe for me your ethics or your attitude? My ethic is working in discipline, ma'am. How can you assure to us that you will work hard in Malaysia? Ma'am? How can you assure to us that you will work hard in Malaysia? Um, I, I will do my best to work willingly, ma'am. Can you promise 
not to use the telephone without the permission of your employer? Yes, ma'am. Can you promise not to put on makeup but to dress properly while work? Yes, ma'am. Can you promise not to invite friends and relatives without the consent of your employer? Yes, ma'am. Can you promise not to ask for advance salary from your employer under any under any circumstances? Yes, ma'am. Do you really understand of the rules and regulation of the agency? Yes, ma'am. Do you pay any placement fee for you to come to Malaysia to work as a maid? No, ma'am. Do you have any history of sickness, example breast cancer or any other illness? No, ma'am. Do you suffer from any skin diseases, allergy or physical defect? No, ma'am. Have you suffered from any serious illness? No, ma'am. Do you smoke? No, ma'am. Have you done any operation? No, ma'am. Are you medically fit? Yes, ma'am. Are you in any medication? No, ma'am. Are you allergic with any food? No, ma'am. Are you prepared to work with lawyer of two days? Yes, ma'am. Are you prepared to eat the type of food taken by your employer? Yes, ma'am. Are you afraid of being left alone in the house? No, ma'am. Are you afraid of dogs or other pets? Yes, ma'am. May I know what pets or animals you are afraid of? Dog, ma'am, dog. Can you promise to work according to instruction from your employer? Yes, ma'am. Do you have any immediate family working in Malaysia? No, ma'am. Okay, Miss Estella, we have finished our question section. Let's go to the study. I have a case study for you and I want you to answer me truthfully. What What will you do? Will you continue to work till finish your contract or you will go back? I'm finish my contract, ma'am. Tell us about yourself and why do you want to work in Malaysia as domestic helper? Because of my family, ma'am, I want to help to all my family. Okay, Miss Estella, what do you want to tell to your employer who is watching your video? Ma'am, good afternoon. I'm Estella Madroño, 37 years old. The name of my husband is Romando Madroño, and I have one only son, ma'am. Ma'am, please hire me to work in your house, and I'll be honest to you, and I... I will be a good, uh, I'm a good uh, housemaid in your house, ma'am. And I love your family. That's all, ma'am. Okay, thank you very much, Ms. Estella. We will update your agency if there's any selection made by the employer. Yes, ma'am.